Okay, good. So I'm over 30 minutes in. So that means I completely forgot to bring up my chat box. <sighs> Anybody who's currently joining right now, um, I may be a little unprepared. I kind of procrastinated a bit, so there may be a little bit of a, what's the term, a mishap or some shit like that. I didn't even tweet the link. Shit. Boy, I'm way off today. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. Shutting off Skype because for some reason it uses up CPU. I'll just tweet it here. It's probably gonna load much faster than. And would you look at that? There's already seven people in. No, damn it! Close that. I don't think I really need to have it up here. I'm using two different. Um, laptops well, not laptops but two separate computers because whenever I try to manage everything on this computer it's oh shit no 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 I don't need that um, twitch link let me get that it's so that way I can like see uh, any results like you know the alert box and the donation bar and all that shit I put that on a separate computer because sometimes I have to like lower everything to see whatever activities happened here so I think that has to do with the fact that it's it's multi-managing. So yeah, things are gonna be a little awkward for a little bit until I'm fully prepared. And no, I don't need to hear my own stream. Come on, you, shut off. chat ha 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 very funny um let's lower that for now let's close this and... oh i'm sorry about your voice jesse i hope you get that fixed um wait you said you have a cold if you have a cold um, you can return yourself and say, yeah. oh, this is not hilarious. Um, what I do whenever I get a cold or if I'm catching it is, you know, there's the obvious, you know, have chicken noodle soup and shit. Um, put some spices in there, like put some, like, I don't know, cayenne pepper, maybe some Cholula sauce, Tabasco. I'll go nuts and have like, I don't know, some jalapenos or if you're really brave enough, I would chicken out on this one. Habaneros. I, I can't stand those. That's just too much for me. Um, no, I got this going here. What is, um, again, I'm doing two things at once. Gotta spread that link around. Ah, there you are. And there we go. All right. Did I tweet? Um, yes, I did. I tweet my uh, my stream link. Please post the link. Yeah. No. Oh God. Is it still like that, or just to say pre it says pre-show? What the dick? Whatever. That's not what I'm going to be playing today. Um, I'm taking a short break from Pokemon Yellow. Um, 
No, I'm going to be playing a different kind of game. Ah, oh, Nikki V's in there. Okay. How are we doing tonight? Let's see. Does your blade do spicy food help colds? I personally believe so, because every time I was about to catch a cold, um, I would stir up either chicken and rice uh, soup or chicken noodle soup, and I would put in some pepper materials or spice materials, like, you know, the, the aforementioned. Uh, whether it's Tabasco sauce, cayenne pepper, uh, any kind of pepper, and, you know, because the thing with uh, spice and why I believe it is because, well, okay, uh, I'll let me put it this way. The reason why spice has, like, this sense of heat every time you consume it is because, just bear with me, it, it's supposed to be some kind of poison. The kind of poison that humans are able to tolerate. I don't know if animals can handle it. But it's meant to kill off bacteria. It's like a defense mechanism so that way it can protect itself out in the wild. You know, it's those kind of plants. But for us, we're able to tolerate it and take out and it's able to like destroy bacteria or ex um, expel bacteria. To the point where I would just like, I started using that and it worked like a charm. Like there were times when... Like, whenever I was about to get a cold, I had this, like, weird feeling in the back of my mouth that it hurts to swallow, and it feels bruised and swollen, and it's so uncomfortable, and I'm just like, I know what to do. Stir up the noodle soup, put in some spicy shit, and just watch the magic works. Um, I've spoken to a few other people, and I have given that recommendation before, and it doesn't work for everybody, which... Personally, it does kind of sad me, because then they have to find an alternative... But I guess this all narrows down to how some people are, what's the term, you know, different from each other. And that's something that I have to live with. Fun fact, humans are the only earthly species that illegally consume spices, so we're to... Wait, what does that say? Fun fact, humans are the only Earth species that deliberately consume spices, so we're defying nature by eating spicy food. Ha! <laughs> oh my god, I know that feel. It's right in there and I'm getting a cough. Yep! See, a question guy knows what I'm talking about. It's fucking annoying. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I gotta get ready to switch the screen over. This is a pre-show, so I'm gonna set that up. <clears throat> there. Um... I'm just going to play around for a little bit until things are kind of settled in. <clears throat> ah, take that, nature. <laughs> Snorts Tabasco sauce. Dude! Okay, I don't know why, but you're now reminding me of Steve-O fucking sucking up wasabi through his, like, fucking nostrils. That shit was painful. See, oh, I see Golden Fox. I'll try that when I get a cold. Yeah. Ooh, curry. I haven't had curry in a while. Yeah, Steve from uh, Jackass the movie. Did I just close the... God damn it. Yeah, in Jackass uh, the movie... There, he was at a um, he was at some kind of a restaurant and he ordered some wasabi and he put like just a small bit and he took a tiny thing of a straw and he sucked it up like cocaine. And yes, he legit threw up on the counter. It was way too much to handle. I wouldn't blame him. Fucking moron. Well, we're talking about jackass here, so. There's really nothing much else to expect. And I just realized, my, um, my snacks are in the kitchen. I need to get that.
I just realized my lens need to be clean. What the fuck am I talking about? I need to get new glasses. Oh, by the way, Blue Scale, thank you for um, thank you for hosting. Jackass was stupid but funny. Well, that's the idea. It's supposed to be stupid. You're watching daredevils, you know, injure themselves. Uh, by the way, Logic, yes. Um, Magical Star, thank you for um, thank you for also hosting. I need to double check something. Oh, yikes. Um, yeah, I got to take care of that. For some reason, the sounds overlap each other. Uh, have you seen Steve-O today? He looks so much better now, huh? Let's see. Thomes. Um, when you get a Chitini and Pokemon Nello, what are you going to call it? Well, obviously, I'm going to name him fucking Watchful. Because Watchful's a goddamn dragon. If there was a second dragon Pokemon in the first generation, I would have probably named it either Lani or Fluff Dragon. Because Fluff. The only things I remember from Jackass was some dude attaching a bottle rocket to his dong and setting his balls off. Ow! I think I know what you're talking about. That was probably from the first movie. I also remember uh, they tried to um, invent some kind of rocket uh, skeets or some shit like that. No, skates. You know, the little skater things and try to attach like little um, uh, firecracker rocker, uh, rockets. That sounds painful. Magical Star, that's the idea. So I got some uh, snacks here. As usual, it's broccoli with a dip of ranch. Um, got Doritos over here, nacho cheese. That's always one of my favorite. Like, I don't mind having cool ranch, but nacho cheese is always my favorite. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Oh, that's right. Something I'm also having that's kind of counterintuitive to what I'm tending to make. Um, I got this big ass cinnamon roll here. So yesterday, Kichi, um, when she got home from work, she brought home a box, like a six pack, I shit you not, a six rolls of cinnamon rolls. And I'm just like, they're ginormous. I only had like two last night. And I'm like, oh God, I'm done. <laughs> so there's one left over and she said that I could have it. So I'm slowly eating this away. I don't expect to finish it up and like, I'm probably going to feel sick after this. Nacho cheese is my favorite too. She got a bunch of fins. She, oh, oh, logic. I can't eat it now. Even, even when you say that fucking Finn is a cinnamon roll, I don't want to hurt Finn. Hey, Golden Fox, were you having fun playing Pokemon last time I saw it? It sounded like you weren't. Um... There's a whole different story to that. I'm not going to get into the details because it's more private. Um, I'll tell you this much. Whatever it was that was bothering me, it's a thing of the past. And um, I'm just going to, you know, we're just going to move on. Hurting Finn is like kicking a puppy. Yep. Yeah. See, Season knows what I'm fucking talking about. Finn would want you to eat so you had food, Golden. Do it for him. <laughs> no, that's what fucking Finn would do during TF2. Finn is too pure. If I hug him, I would. Yes. Oh, Jesus. Breaking news. So Cal has been invaded by Kabooms. <laughs> Myth, that is... Oh, that's priceless. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh, Miffy, never change, never change. <laughs> By the way, I'm looking forward to meeting you at BronyCon. Oh, that's right, I still gotta purchase my flight tickets. Um, I have plenty of money to do that. I just have to. You motherfucker, season. God damn it. Anyways, where the fuck was I? Shit. Oh, yeah. No, I still have to purchase flight tickets. I have plenty of money for that. Um, still looking around to see what good, um, you know, flight times are. You know, maybe you guys already know this. Maybe you don't. But in case you don't, uh, the biggest advice that I have is that um, season, thank you for hosting. Um, whenever it comes to looking for flight tickets, look under Kayak or Expedia. And 
Oh yeah, and go in incognito mode because that uh, that helps like lower the pr um, lower the prices a little better. There's a whole reason behind that, but you look under there and you should have some legitimately uh, lower prices because looking for a flight ticket is the biggest part of trying to get to a convention because you know you got to be there. You know, it's not just getting the ticket in the hotel room. You know. Yeah, I say that never right there, season. You little shit. By the way, Jesse, I love the uh, the Agretzigo emoticon. That's hilarious. My grandmother paid for my flight as a belated B-Day present, and awesome. Well, I hope you have fun at Bronicon. Plane tickets are expensive and confusing. They're confusing because the prices are all over the place. Sometimes you'll find ones that are like a few hundred dollars to over a thousand. So it's like, what the shit? So it's nuts. And what's worse is that over time, prices go up. Let's see. Let's see. And chat, here's a DeviantArt uh, that you recently posted. Cowgirl Bliss. Oh, God. Okay, then. You know, to quote her, and I'm going to get so much cringe comments for saying this. I'm a Texan, can't you tell? I love my shotguns. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. I thought incognito mode was used for other things. Ah, uh, there's a whole can of worms that I don't know much about. Oh, yeah, getting a plane ticket is one of the hardest and craziest things to get. Yes, you know you can't be mad at season. Well, of course I can't be mad at season. She's fucking season. She always likes it. She she does it for shits and giggles. Damn Texans. Damn right, Kikio. Damn Texans. Are there uh, any brony conventions here in Georgia? I looked into it, but I'm eating and listening to the stream. Um... My knowledge on other conventions is very, very minimal, so I can't really give the answers on that one. <laughs> Love you too, Jesse. <laughs> Your southern accent is atrocious. Why, thank you! That's the idea. What up, Golden? How many pots have you broke today? Um, I can't say, honestly. Fuck you, Peg? I don't fucking know. Lingo Kingo! Hey, EG, how are you doing? <laughs> we need more pony conventions in the UK. Um... You can be a cinnamon roll sometimes yourself. Well, you know, you can't spell cinnamon without the sin. Hey. Remind me to never take you to a paint your pot art place. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to get you when I see what Bernie can go and mark my work. Oh, Jesse, it'll be fucking worth it. I know that you and Bliss are probably going to plan some evil scheme. Oh, hi, Mark. Anyways, should play a game or something. Wow, it's been over 20 minutes. Jesus. Let me just go ahead and lower that. 
loud as I can get. I gotta change the volume on this goddamn thing. Um, your official ban from my pottery class. <laughs> oh, the pottery jokes are gonna be endless. Turn the volume up on my end so I can hear my game. Um, why do you think that Berta's silhouette was Doctor? Wait, what? I never said anything about that. Oh shit! Oh goddamn! Didn't make a big enough jump. Whatever. Do you have that good pot? You know what? Yes, and you know what? I'm not gonna break it this time. God damn it, same fucking spot. So, how did you get the Master Sword? I don't fucking know. It just appeared right in my goddamn lap. Ow! I fucking ran too soon. You know, Golden Fox, if you like breaking pots, I think you would love Warframe. You can smash pots, containers, and all that other stuff. If you turn Golden into a vase, would he smash himself? Raven, the fucking implications of that goddamn question. Your choice of words. Phrasing. Goddamn Hammer Brothers, go fuck off. The only pots you can't break are the ones that you smoke with. Oh. Oh. Equestria guy, get out of here. Get out. Son of a bitch! Oh, logic. You know what? Yeah, I did set myself up there. Yeah, no. I take full responsibility. That's my fault. Oh my god, that's terrible. I don't know for this shit. Let's go uh, put this in intermission and let's get straight to playing a game.